Hello everyone, or well, some might say every day is a pleasant day when we're broadcasting from this particular venue. It is a nice weather day here at Ellen Road. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Leeds United, and they take on Cardiff City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And so this, the team for Cardiff City. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And so the match is underway. Odauda. Rino Mhota. Across, lacking guile and accuracy. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Luis Sinisterra. Sinisterra. And Christensen has it. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Adams. Moving into the advanced position. The supporters want to see him have a go. Can they convert? And a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. Sinisterra Rodrigo Great opportunity Well he stumped it out of there without much fuss Wintel Super tackle and they've won possession Opportunity it is Oh it was a crucial challenge Odauda 
Ryan Wintle. Robinson. Oh, a nice looking pass. And nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. Brendan Aronson. Harrison. He's going forward well here. Spot on with that tackle. Callum Robinson. On the ball, Mark Rocca. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Can't miss, surely! A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted, and well, that's the result. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Opportunity here. Oh, good work by the keeper. Yeah. They take it short. Aronson could be nicely saved well opting for the short corner being pressed and pressed high Ojo. Can they trouble the opposition this time? He's holding the ball up here effectively, waiting for support to arrive. Well, Leeds come away with it. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Space here on the flank. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Looking for the angle. And the keeper more than equal to the task. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Elland Road. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. A strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Rodrigo. He's in control of the situation. Romeo. Ojo. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating. He's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Mark Rocca. Brendan Aronson and Rodrigo has it 
And they need to get tighter here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Speculative effort. And using his body to good effect. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they take advantage of the situation? Giving it a try. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Over it comes. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, that is how to play advantage. It looks promising. A reminder, tickets for the next game. Well, the supporters think it's on. After today's game. Could be a chance to break here. of players waiting in the middle well the threat was very real marvellous defending that's useful play but really sticking to the task defensively Nkunku Odauda Jay Ojo. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Time for a change then. Number two, Luke I oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Rodrigo. He's got to score! And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. And a substitution in the offing. And there's the delivery. A really good stop at a critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. Well, a short corner here. And he read it superbly. And I'm kind of giving it away. Christensen. Patrick Bamford. Able to get a body in the way. Three minutes of added time here. Still a chance. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Harris. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Well, there goes the final whistle. Leeds get the victory and take the three points. How would you sum this up? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.
And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.